term controlled under the current framework is defined in a very vague and circuitous manner. Um, and what it says is control means controlling the affairs or management of the company. Um, the CCI's decisional practice in relation to control and how it interprets control has also evolved over a period of time. And it has gone from using the standard of decisive influence to material influence. And what this arguably this bill uh, seeks to do is to really codify the decisional practice into the statute book itself. Um, now material influence under the current bill has been defined to mean uh, material influence over the affairs or management of the company or strategic commercial decisions of the company. Uh, again, if one looks to the decisional practice of the CCI, material influence has been inferred from a number of factors, including the degree of shareholding, um, including the degree of shareholding, uh, contractual rights, uh, any sort of special rights, the expertise of an individual, board representation, any sort of structural or financial links. There's been a very pragmatic move in relation to acquisitions on a regulated stock exchange. So the position as on date is that if you make an acquisition irrespective of the mode of acquisition, so if you're making an acquisition uh, over a regulated stock exchange through block deals or you know acquisition in open offers, you are required to take prior approval of the Competition Commission of India if the transaction is otherwise meeting the thresholds and no exemptions apply. Now what is being proposed in the bill is that uh, given the volatility of the price and because these transactions are time sensitive, an acquisition can still be done of any sort of convertible securities or, or stock or shares on the stock market or through an open offer without really seeking an approval. But what this really means is that it's not like that the approval requirement has been completely dispensed with. It is rather deferred. You can make the acquisition, but within a reasonable time, you need to intimate and take approval from the commission. And within that time, until the approval has been granted, uh, the parties are, are encouraged and required, in fact, not just encouraged, they are required by law to not exercise any sort of benef beneficial rights or ownership rights or interest in relation to the shares that have been acquired on the stock market. The turnover definition uh, under the current framework includes uh, revenues from operations of a company based on the last audited financial statement of the company uh, and invariably that includes any sort of revenues through sales operations outside India. Now post the amendment what is proposed to be to be redefined as turnover is, is an exclusion uh, which will exclude any sort of sales or revenues made from assets which are located outside India or revenues uh, accruing from sales made to customers outside India. This is a very helpful change and we think that probably companies which are more export driven uh, where you know their businesses are purely export driven, they will uh, seek to sort of, uh, they will benefit from this revised definition because the incidence of approval requirements would stand reduced. So there are two timelines under the current merger review framework for the CCI uh, to clear transactions. One is an outer limit which includes um, you know phase one and phase two transactions uh, and phase two meaning in-depth transaction review uh, which is 210 days uh, which excludes certain statutory exclusions. There is also a shorter timeline which is for the phase one review of 30 working days where the CCI needs to come at a preliminary opinion on whether a transaction uh, is completely kosher, non-problematic or whether it needs to have a higher degree of scrutiny. Uh, this is now sought to be changed. The outer limit the, of the entire uh, timeline including phase two uh, stands reduced probably or will stand to stay reduced to uh, 150 days. Um, and the shorter review timeline for phase one uh, is proposed to be reduced to 20 calendar days. Um, this seems to be a little bit of an ambitious timeline, um, but, but yeah, I mean, parties have reason to, to rejoice because that will mean that their closing can happen sooner. 
uh, but in reality what this could also mean is, is that you need to file your submissions with the CCI you know, which need to be in letter perfect form and equally there will be pressure on the CCI to have a very quick turnaround time. Uh, again an implication of this could be uh, that you know, uh, there could be higher number of uh, invalidations which earlier could have been cured by simple defect letters. Um, or requests for information. Um, and another thing that could potentially happen is that uh, currently we have a pre-filing consultation process which is uh, recommendatory in nature. It could become probably mandatory or the commission could encourage that these consultations happen in advance uh, more regularly uh, before the formal filing to avoid the risk of any invalidations in the future.